Welcome everyone to part 3 of me playing in this $2,500 tournament. So far we have survived extremely well. We beat a Prodigy Zerg and we took revenge on the 6k Grandmaster and I beat this last time. But now we have an entirely different beast on our hands. We're going to be playing against Spirit, top 16 at the global finals. He used to be the third or fourth best Terran in Europe. Nowadays he might even be a top 2 Terran in Europe. He took Cure to the Brink in a game 5 series. Absolutely epic. He's been beating Hero Marine. Going to be honest guys, it's going to be very very hard but there's no reason to be scared. Let's just do our best. All right, here we go. Game number one against Spirit. Actually, in a new team. I think I think it's called Starlight Twinkle, is it? That's a new team. I think they just qualified for the World Team League. So, uh, good job to them, Spirit. Obviously, they're ace. Now, the first map, I'm just going to go out and YOLO instantly because a lot of these maps on this pool are not that good for Proxy Reaper, but this one might be pretty decent. And Spirit, he's a bit of a tricky one. He really likes uh, to play Reaper Expand without Scout sometimes, which is pretty crazy in TVT. But obviously, if you don't get punished, it's absolutely fantastic. In fact, I did it in the last series, in the last episode against Nikorak. But I'm going to open with a Proxy Reaper. I think I have a slight ping advantage. He's playing from Poland. I'm playing from Mexico on the NA East server. My ping should be about 70, and I think his ping is probably going to be more like... I don't know, like 120 or something. Obviously, it's not a massive difference, but I have a slight ping advantage. And a Reaper against Reaper, uh, even a little bit of ping, a little bit of help can make the difference. So I'm just going to start like this. I do like to start my series with a cheese, as you guys now know after watching some of my tournament videos. Um, and then after this, even if we lose, I can revert to quote-unquote more normal play. Oh, there's actually a very nice position for barracks. I didn't think about it before, but these barracks are covered against the wall. So this SV is already unhittable, for example, in that location. So even if we were to get scouted, um, you know, might still be good enough for us now obviously if you do get scouted here it's going to be pretty rough mostly for the reason that he will just be able to defend the high ground it's not like proxy reaper is an unbeatable unholdable strategy now i am going to go for the macro version here so well actually proxy reaper should always be a macro version to be honest like the all-in proxy reapers they're not that good so i'm probably just going to make i want to say four reapers then go into the factory and transition from there I'm going to send my first SUV back and the second one i'm actually going to go in with that i made an orbital so now it's time for the second gas and then I guess this is where I can probably use it as well to make uh, the depot and then the factory. Now, we haven't been scouted. I, I would be kind of surprised because Spirit these days, like I said in the intro, he's honestly a freaking beast, okay? Like, I I don't think he's going to play too greedy. If he did, I would be kind of disappointed in him because he could probably just play very safe and be completely fine against me. Like, I'm not that bad, obviously, but Spirit really is a beast these days. Now, I don't think he scouted me yet, so I'm actually going to hide my Reaper. My SUV is just chilling there as well, which looks pretty funny. Like, his Reaper could actually run into that, and then it's pretty, you know, be kind of funny. He's like, what the hell are you doing there, you know? Okay, I'm going to go in with this now. Oh, now he knows I'm doing Proxy Reaper, probably, if I had to guess. Let's see what his Reaper movement's going to be. No, he's actually going across. All right, then. That is very interesting. Let's see what we have over here. Oh, we did play against the Reaper Expand, I think, guys. He's going to be in a little bit of trouble. He actually did the unthinkable. He did a Reaper Expand without scouting. Now, that is crazy. I think he might be sending his Reaper across, actually, looking at it. The Reaper is still not back. Is the oh, the Reaper did come back. We have to target the Reaper no matter what. Here we go. Going to be able to kill that Reaper very fast. It's leave. Uh, if I get the final target on, there we go. And now I'm going to switch up my strategy. Oh, that's a big mistake by me. Ah, that sucks. I was like, I'm going to switch up my strategy and go for more Reapers here. Now, that is actually a pretty big mistake. I should have saved that. Uh, I didn't think the second Marine was going to be that fast, unfortunately. Now, let's see if we can get some damage on at the front here. Is the factory going to be done yet? I don't know, actually. Let's see. Okay, there we go. That's one Marine down already. That's quite nice. And now I might be able to get another one. Wait, did he not make a heli in at all? Is he just going to go for a Cyclone right away? That's pretty crazy, actually, if he were to do that. Now, let's uh, get my command center up here and some extra. I'm going to fly the barracks here. I don't want to keep all in forever, of course, or keep cheesing forever, I guess we should say. Now, if correct, he has a lot of SCVs up this high ground, so I'm going to wait for a second uh, just until my barracks gives me a high ground fish, and I'm going to make a starport, and then we're going to see exactly there we go. Now, I think he might have... Yeah, he actually just straight up skipped uh making a heli which is super super greedy and we have enough wait did he just kill his own sev i think he did we're gonna kill every single one of those marines and we might be able to get even more scps with this which is super nice he doesn't have a lot of scps already there we go let's try to target this one down can we get that one he's doing a good job micro of course as we expect from someone like him and there's the cyclone might be able to get one more scv doesn't look like we're gonna get it but then again uh, i think we did enough damage honestly I should have killed him here. Like, I could have micro did a little bit better. I lost one of my Reapers a little bit too early. And that's uh, what sign... I was going to say my death send. Not my death send, because I'm very alive. Uh, but I definitely could have killed him, I think. But I'm going to get ahead. No way. I always win. <laughs> You know, it's really funny. Oh, I didn't actually show you guys. He uh, he said 
<laughs> Before we played, he said, if I lose the proxy Thor for the sake of YouTube, I'm unsubbing. That's what he said. So maybe I should actually pull out a proxy Thor uh, somewhere across here. I do think he might have more SEVs than me. What's funny in winning? I, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what he means, honestly, guys. Uh... I'm gonna skip type yes. I actually have no idea what he means. Maybe he's thinking for the sake of YouTube. Uh, I actually have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, they're gonna make an extra guess already. The thing is, he has a lot of SUV. Yeah, you know, looking at it, I would say we're slightly ahead. We're not crazy ahead. I would say we're slightly ahead. If you think, Mark, you're not ahead at all. He had a lot of SUVs. Keep in mind, I have my third command center building already. Uh, he did make two Cyclones as well. That's really good to note. We need to make sure to not overextend against the two Cyclones. He does have more Marines than me. But I think there's definitely still a lot of play to be done here for uh, either side to decide this game decisively. Now, I'm not quite sure. I think my, ra my Raven might have been slightly faster than his. I do know he likes to YOLO Ravens across the map. Um, so I'm just trying to think if there's something I could do about it in particular. Actually, I'm going to siege my tank here. Um, and then I'll keep a Raven on each side of my base. And that should be good enough of a defense against Raven flybys, I think. Now, should I go for Bio or Mech here? I'm not quite sure. Um, I think playing Mech from ahead is actually pretty comfortable. So maybe... That is a good decision. Like, playing Bio is good, but Bio games, I feel like they... It sounds really crazy to say this, because everyone knows Mech is like the turtle composition, etc., right? But in TVT, Marines are so bad against tanks that you can't, just can't really break it with enough Marines, right? You can't break a solid siege line with just thinning in there with Marines. That's the thing. I oh, need to be careful with this tank positioning. But if you just straight up have, like, way more tanks than the other guy, uh, then you can kind of run in, siege in range of his tanks, and then uh, just absolutely destroy. I'm just going to make my extra factories here. Oh, is he going to go for it? Actually, I don't really like this move because I have the two... Yeah, he's going to lose both of the Cyclones for that. I mean, he killed a tank, which is pretty nice, but uh, losing two Cyclones for that, that's an entire map presence, and I think that's once again something... Oh, we're going to kill the Raven too! No freaking way! Are we going to get it? Yeah, wow. This game is getting more and more in our favor, guys. I am loving this right now. Beating a Terran-like spirit in my... Yeah, my first serious tournament in a very long time would actually be super awesome. Obviously, it's just one game, and we haven't won the game yet, so let's not get too crazy. Now, where's my other Cyclone? I actually lost it for... Oh, it actually was under my Ravens, okay. So I'm going to start saturating this third base now. I'm going to try to um, saturate my natural perfectly with 16 SCVs on the mineral patches, and then let's see. Okay, so he has a third base too. It's it, We're definitely not in a crazy ahead position. I was really hoping I would scan there, and he would still be chilling, uh, you know, with his RV and his natural, meaning he doesn't have a third base, but sadly, uh, that is not the case here. Now, what is my best play? Since I killed the Raven, I think we might actually have some attacking uh, capabilities here. The problem is, is that I've played against Spirit's Tricks before, and he has a build where he kind of YOLOs a Raven across very often to drop mineral or uh, turrets in your mineral line, rather. Uh, didn't mean to lift that. And then when you think you're ahead, you move out and he hits you with a counter drop. And that would be a very devastating move here if that were to happen. Now, I don't think he's going to be moving out. If he moved out, I, I should still get vision, by the way. I was a little bit sloppy with the vision here. But if he moved out, I would honestly be pretty surprised. Because uh, I have more Ravens than him, and I should always win the fight. A drop would be, make way more sense to me. I think I'm just going to get as many tanks as possible. And let's see. I could have one Marine here, actually. Let's give this one Marine here. Try to spread vision perfectly. It's time for a sensor tower as well. I don't think he's going to be playing mech. Normally, I would scan to see if it's mech, but Spirit is not really the mech kind of guy. Now he sees I am, in fact, playing mech. Um, and pff, I feel like usually he goes for like a defensive stance against this. So what I expect is that he's just going to make a fourth command center and turtle up hard. Maybe try some drops. Uh, I, think I can definitely see him doing that, but for now, I don't think he's really going to be moving out too much. I'm actually going to make a turret here. This is a very nice turret location. So if he drops there, my turret is going to shoot or damage his medevac. Uh, or shoot down or damage the medevac, I wanted to say. And I'm going to make a fourth command center myself. I, I really feel like I should be moving out, but I'm having trouble judging how far ahead I am exactly. Like, in supply, the supply might actually be even. So, uh, is it a good idea to move out? I don't know, honestly. I feel like it's pretty risky. I think I'm going to scan his base, see exactly what he's doing. Um, see how many Vikings there are, or maybe like Medivacs or so. Let's see. So yeah, he's making pure Vikings. 
I didn't see any of the marines. Let's see. I'm going to send out a few Hellions to just kind of roam the map and make sure there's no uh, marine squads out on the map that could potentially uh, destroy me. That's the plan. I can also leave one tank at home as I move out. Or maybe these two Cyclones and uh, my one tank could be a decent idea. My map control is looking very good, so that's nice. Do I need... No, I don't think I need another depot, actually. Just to get more stuff. I got a Liberator out now, which is great. I didn't see any units out on the map whatsoever. He doesn't have... Guys, he doesn't have combat shield. Is he actually playing mech as well? Or is he just very late on that? <laughs> Could be both, honestly. I'm just really scanning the entire map. Okay, so yeah, he does have a decent amount of ravens. Uh, I think it's time for me to actually maybe go for this. Uh, I do have a lot of tanks here. I'm gonna... What should I keep at home, actually? I think I'm gonna keep one tank at home. Uh, and maybe... No, actually, the Cyclones are pretty useful as well. I'm just going to bring the Cyclones. Why not? They can help me shoot down some Vikings, potentially. How many SUVs do I have? 80 SUVs. That's a very nice SUV count. I'm going to start my 1-1. One -one. It's very late, but I wasn't really intending on getting it fast at all. And now we do have to be careful to not be counterattacked. I feel like a counterattack is going to be on the way because there's just nothing here. Yeah, it's a massive counterattack, right? Yeah, exactly what I expected. He's going to be using that. Let's see. I think we can just go in here, probably. Oh, he's actually very spread out there, I have to say. That does not look great for him. I need to make some liberators, I think, instead. Let's just try to kill everything he has. I have another tank siege here. I need to make sure to protect it. Let's kill that one. He has a fourth base on the left side. I kind of doubt that is... Uh, you know, gonna be, uh, defend everything though, even if it's a planetary. Let's see. He, he does have a few starports, I think, already, most likely. I'm just gonna siege here. That looks like a nice flame. Okay, I have, I have enough Vikings to kill him here, I think. Yeah, I have more Vikings than him. That's beautiful. He did manage to break into the main base, but at what cost? I still have a tank alive here, which is nice. He's pretty much losing every single air unit here, which is just beautiful. The Cyclones are actually helping out too. I'm getting some decent damage done here, but the bio is a little bit too strong. I need to wait for a few more units, I think. Now let's try to infiltrate the base completely. Um, actually, maybe he doesn't see this and I can siege on top of his units. I do have a few more factories that are not producing yet. Let's just lift these Vikings and kill his Vikings as well. Wait, what happened to the... Did I... Huh? Did the Liber what did the Liberators even die to? What the hell? Where did they go? Okay, that's kind of crazy. Um, this might actually end up being a full base trade. Do I have enough to kill that? Hmm. This is pretty scary. Let's make this a planetary more than anything else. That should be a priority right now. Is this a tank? Oh, that's a tank finishing. He might not realize. Let's see if I can get a big hit on his units. He's trying to kill my base as well. He's trying to fly away, but I don't think he can actually escape with any of these buildings. Let's get some turrets up here. I have a couple more liberators as well, which is nice. And I'm going to siege that on top of his ramp. He hasn't found this base yet, which is super nice for me. I'm really just making sure I'm killing every single bit of production he has. And this is how base trades can get in TVT, guys. They are uh, often absolutely crazy. Now, he might be coming back with his units, actually. I haven't seen a unit in a while. Let's get a few depots up here. Oh, he did find my SUVs there. So, uh, good for me, the planetary is already finished, though. Now, I do know he has uh, a few more tanks uh, at his fourth base location. This, yeah, he's, he's trying to rebuild it. Let's see what he has. Oh, it's just one tank, actually. Okay. Yeah, I think my army is way, uh, yeah, way more than big enough to actually kill him here. Unless there's even more tanks back there. Let's just siege these so I don't uh, lose everything for free. Let's get my servos upgrade as well. There we go. We're now in this base. He could try to kill this still. I don't know how many Vikings he has exactly. I kind of doubt it is enough though. And he's... Oh, I did lose a tank there. Uh, a little bit unnecessarily. Maybe if he gets too close. Oh, it's going to be big. Let's go. Yeah, really nice tank hits there. And we have done it for game number one. There we freaking go. It got scary with the base trade, but the early game was so good. We owned it with the Reapers. We played it solid. I didn't try to all in with my lead. I kept it together. And we are 1-0 up against a top 16 player in the world, guys. That is absolutely insane. Let's go for game number two. All right, game number two against Spirit on Grass Fan. Now, this map is a little bit scarier. I feel like this map is always... For some reason, it really scares me. Every time I play this map in a tournament, it's like the natural is so wide open. I always feel like there's going to be something that kills me. Now... The mind games are definitely in effect already. Because the first game I won with the cheese. What is he going to do this time? He might play it safer. Also, I do have the... This is this is honestly a content creation boost. Where I do have the effect that whenever I do something now. People are going to think I'm doing a challenge. So maybe now he's thinking. Okay, this is a proxy only challenge. This is a cheese only challenge. Reapers opening challenge. Or whatever, you know. So maybe I have a little bit more freedom now. He might be scared. I want to go for Hellions. Because Hellions feels like a very comfortable opening for me. Just like I did against Nico Rakt in the last series. Um, he did an SCP scout me last game. He could also go for the same build again. I know 
that spirit has a formula. Now, I'm not sure if I want to leak it, but I, I don't think that the Korean Terrans, who are most of the best Terrans in the world, are still Korean. Uh, even though there's a lot of good non-Korean Terrans, by the way, these days. Uh, they're probably not going to watch this video. Uh, but Spirit, what he likes to do is if he gets cheesed in game one and it doesn't work because he's playing double gas, he'll play Reaper Expand without scouting in the next game, thinking they're not going to cheese again after failing, you know? Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if he thinks now as well, like, oh, he's not going to cheese me again. Though I feel like I've definitely instilled some doubt and fear in his mind uh, for this game too, so that's a perfect start for me. I don't think we saw an SV in the middle of the map. Truth is, I also didn't really check, uh, but I feel like sometimes I see it unconsciously. Uh, but no SV yet, which is really nice for me. Now, let's see. Is it a Reaper Expand again? Are we going to have a Reaper Expand off? Or is he going to go for the save double gas this time? It's only one uh, depot. Let's see. And yeah, he's actually doing... He's actually a freaking madman, you know? Unless it's a proxy tier. He's actually going to be... There's a CC right here. Is he going to build it? Wait, there's no command center yet. Uh, oh, it's coming back. Okay, so he did scout for the proxy at least. All right. Yeah, that, that I, I, can, I can see that. That makes sense. Now, I'm actually ahead in the damage here. I'm going to kill the SCV if he's not paying attention. Okay, there we go. Now, the Reaper is almost finished. Or maybe it's finished already if he played Barracks first. So, I'm going to have to be very careful here. But uh, I, you could tell that by the SCV scout, the CC was also a little bit late, by the way. Like, it should have been before mine. But he actually checked all over the place with his SCV to see if there was a Barracks around. So I think, uh, you know, we definitely got to... I mean, it's a very small lead. It's really not going to be super significant, but a lead is a lead, guys. What can I say? And I'm happy with it. Now, I'm not quite sure what kind of version of my Hellions I want to go for. I could go for the Hellion Marauder attack, keep it nice and cheesy. Or I could go for the... Ra like, it's a bit of a... I feel like every time I try to cheese on this map, it hits a little bit too late. The only cheese that I did on this map that looked good is a Planetary Rush. Please don't ask me how that works, because I don't know. But so far, every time I tried to cheese, I came to the conclusion that the map was a little bit too big. So I think I'm going to be smart and just go for the standard Raven follow-up here. Um, whether I make four or six Hellions, I'll see. He might be attacking me with two Reapers as well, kill an SCV or two. Uh, he didn't scout my base, though. So from his POV, he actually doesn't know whether I'm playing Reaper Expand or not. SCV scouting is something you can also do with Double Gas. I al always SCV scout with Double Gas, too. Unless I'm doing a cheese, then I kind of want to uh, save my money to make my cheese hit faster. But from his POV, I think he, he doesn't quite know what I'm up to. I'm actually going to park my Hellions right here because I feel like he might try to go for a Reaper run by into the main. And Hellions are so overwhelming in the early game. It's really nice about Hellions that if he runs into my natural, I'll have enough units to just destroy whatever units he clicks in the natural. So even though he kills a few SCVs, he will lose every unit for it. So that could be potentially pretty nice here. Now, I do need to depot ASAP, but I want to finish my Hellion count. Let's see, there's nothing here yet. I'll make a depot now. I did cut a few SCVs to afford those Hellions, so might be down by an SCV or two. I don't think I... No, I, I was going to think... I, do, I thought I killed one, but it was very low HP. I didn't actually kill it. And now it's time to switch those buildings over and start making some Mariners. There we go. Should I click the Raven? I, I can actually click the Raven across in this situation. Might be pretty decent. So here we go. I do really need to make these Marines though. Because if he runs into my base with two Reapers now, I'm actually not going to have any units to defend it, which would be pretty annoying. So first Raven is across the map. I'm going to try to drop a turret in his main with that. And then I guess I'll try to make a third as soon as possible. He did make a bunker. He might be scared. Let's see. Maybe a one shot on the Reapers. There we go. He has a few. He made two Hellions. But I think he might have just been playing scared here. I'm not sure what else he wants two Hellions for. Let's see if I can... I can get the Reaper. I'm going to get a nice damage. Maybe I can get, kill the Hellion with the splash damage. One more hit. There we go. Okay. And now my Raven has arrived. I'm a little bit late on making my own Cyclone, sadly. So that's going to hurt a little bit. I'm going to do some damage to the SCVs. Two workers are going to die. It does suck, though, guys. I don't want to understate it. Like, missing the Cyclone production, I think I might have been even 20 seconds late on that or so. Uh, that does mean that he's just straight up going to be two units ahead. Two factory tech lab units ahead. Uh, oh, he's going to find me, too. Oh, that is rough. Is there... Oh, I can actually hide here. He might have to... Um, use a scan for that. I'm going to drop an auto turret and I'm going to hide right above here. There you go. And then I'm going to click it in the bottom base. That's actually a pretty good escape. Uh, pretty happy with that. I'm going to make a fourth Raven just to have something that can tip the skills in my favor if he attacks me. It's a little bit risky uh, to spend that much money making Ravens, but uh, it is what it is for now. I'm going to send the, cyc or the, yeah, the Cyclone into the main to defend from a counter Raven attack. And maybe this is just going to be my harassment Raven. I feel like he's definitely going to expect that to go back. I actually kind of want to make a, a, a bunker here. Yeah, I'll just do it, actually. I'm just scared I'm going to die to an attack before I'm ready. Could still happen even with the bunker, of course, but uh, it is what it is. I'm going to scan his natural. I think I'm scanning a little bit too much here. 
Uh, but I just, yeah, I really want to be safe here. So it is what it is. Now, his, his unit counter looks very small. I'm not quite sure what that is about. And maybe I can actually move across here myself. It's definitely a risky move, but I'm going to give it a shot. Let's go there. And this game, I'm going to be playing Bio. This map just feels a little bit too open to actually play um, Mech on. Like, I don't think... I think I would kind of get owned by, like, flanks and whatnot. So this is definitely going to be a Bio game. Uh, knowing me, he might expect that it's a fake because I've definitely faked this before, going for this kind of style uh, and then actually playing Mech instead. I'm going to drop a third in the main. It's going to be pretty nice. And then I'm going to fall back. Just a little bit of faking here. There we go. Third in the main is going to do some more damage, which is very annoying for him. And it's nice for me. And then I'm going to send these Ravens back around to maybe haunt the natural base instead. Hopefully they don't get caught, of course. That would be pretty rough. And we're going to go for my double eBay here. Now, one thing that I thought was always a little bit of a flaw of mine is that in TVT, I could never get the builds quite right for some reason. So I always ended up having like my eBays and stuff later than my opponent. And that could obviously be a pretty big problem. Let's send those Marines to get a little bit of spotting going on. Make sure I don't get surprised by a big army attacking me. Here we go. Let's see if he has a tank here. Doesn't look like... Maybe I can wall him in, actually. That'd be nice. Okay, there is a Cyclone there. That's pretty scary. Maybe we can kill this tank, actually. There we go. Let's make sure to kill the tank. And then I'll surround this SUVs. We are going to be attacked here. And I do need to back off from this. Let's try to save that. I killed so many SUVs because he's A-moving my turrets, actually. That's pretty nice. Let's try to lift this off. Uh, can, I must be able to save that, I think. Should be very savable. Let's just try to repair this up. And then I'm going to come from behind here. I do think I have enough units to actually break him, by the way. I know it's pretty risky. Oh, no, he's siege. Then I'm not going to go for it. Uh... Do I have any spells on these? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna drop another turret here. Let's get my upgrades going as well. I'm gonna kill a Viking. No, barely doesn't kill a Viking. That's unfortunate. Now let's try to get combat shield up. And I think I can break him pretty soon. As soon as I get some spells on these, I should be able to break him, I think. Um, and then I'm gonna start some extra... Okay, he found my Raven finally. Let's see. You have to be very, very careful. How many spells do I have? I, I'm gonna have three Matrixes soon. It's just taking a little bit too long, you know? I don't really want to wait this long to get three Vikings up. Oh, now he's going way too far. He lost so many Vikings there and so much HP. You do you really want to be careful with those? Let's see. I have two Matrixes almost. I think this might be my time to go for it, to be honest. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a perfect time, actually. Let's freaking go for it. Yeah. And a turret. Yeah, he's going to get absolutely owned here, I think. Let's see. I'm going to land the Vikings too. I don't think it's necessary, but I'm going to try it anyway. I did miss a few of my units here. Those are doing so much damage. Oh, I wish I had a turret on those. And two of my tanks were lagging behind. No, that is so unfortunate. Let's get a big hit on those Vikings. That would be fantastic. Let's see. My Vikings are getting in here now. I can probably kill his Ravens as well. Let's try to lift these off and then land them again on the tank. Now, it's definitely been a little bit crazy. I'm going to kill that Cyclone instantly because he didn't move it away. And we have survived. Did we survive well enough? I kind of doubt it, to be fair. I really thought we were going to crush him there, but we just had... Uh, I think I had two tanks stuck in the main that arrived really late. And now, sadly, uh, we are losing, I think. Now, I'm going to make a few medivacs to try to climb back into this game. Um, I would like to see the supply before that. I mean, I don't want to see myself throw the game, of course, but I'm actually pretty curious, like, what the supply was and stuff. Now, what can I do to get back into the game? I mean, to be fair, I did kill an absolute ton of his SEVs, right? Like, he's uh, definitely had... If he didn't rebuild all of those, I might be okay but i think let's see he doesn't have one one yet he doesn't have combat shoots yet so we're going to be a little bit ahead in upgrades i am going to send these vikings across the map and try to do damage with them gonna make a turret here oh there's a liberator actually oh that's kind of annoying i should hear it maybe also one in my natural no none in my natural yeah my vikings were pretty far away uh that was actually very unfortunate timing uh let's start one one i'm actually gonna cancel oh that's not the right thing i'm gonna cancel my uh upgrade for that oh what Oh, that is... Man, I'm very unlucky. I'm not going to lie, guys. He uh, very accidentally avoided all my units here. That is really, really unlucky. I was actually just in position, but... Uh, yeah, I didn't really expect a few random Marines to actually hit there. Now, I think now I'm definitely super far behind after losing all those SUVs. So I'm going to have to uh, do some kind of a comeback maneuver here. Which is probably going to be me trying to siege his base from the bottom. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, and I wish I could make a second factory right now. But I just don't have the money for it. At least I have my uh, plus 2-2 two, two on the way. That could be a really big deal. Now, I think I'm going to make some more medivacs here, actually. Uh, might be the best way for me. Now, I don't want to enter this sensor tower range until I'm close enough to siege his base. He still doesn't have upgrades here, which is actually very nice. Let's see. I'm going to siege his gas at least. That's the plan. I'm just going to go for it. Guys, I have 1-1 one, one here. 
He doesn't. Okay, there we go. Uh, I would love to escape with these tanks and then drop in his main. That would be really nice. I can, do I have enough tanks for this, actually? Let's see. I'm going to try to drop them over here. Oh, he does have a lot of uh, freaking turrets there for some reason. It's kind of crazy. I don't know why he has so many turrets, but he does. Let's try to kill those from the low ground. Make a fourth command center as well. Get a second factory up now. Uh, I think he might be running into my base. Yeah, he's definitely running into my base. Or maybe dropping. He could also be going for a drop. So I need to make some turrets here. Try to get my second factory to do all the work. Or maybe he dropped into his main base instead. No, there he is. Exactly what I expected. Okay, so he's gonna come. Does he have... Um, I have another tank in the background. Wait, that's... Oh, wait, he did both spells. Oh, he does have 1-1 one, one now. That really sucks. Let me just try to back off a little bit. Oh, I don't have enough to do anything here, actually. Let's maybe try to get back here. Okay, I did survive that, but it wasn't pretty for sure. I'm going to try to siege this base up again. I guess I can get one of those here. Let's try to siege this base. Here we go. I don't know if he has enough units now. I'm actually going to make a couple... Li no, I'm going to make... What should I make? Vikings? Medivacs? I don't even know at this point, to be honest. His army is pretty big, unfortunately. Now, I did manage to deny his gas. I do think he probably has a fourth base up at this point. Okay, there we go. Can we get the Liberator? Ah, oh, I actually got it. Perfect. Okay. Now, I'm going to be able to trade one Viking for one Viking here if I micro this properly. Now, do I, I want to escape here, honestly. This is not uh, something I can keep. I'll just leave... I'll leave the freaking uh, one guy over there and then I'll just escape. Now, oh, I actually have a lot of SUVs that I can transfer. I mean, to be, what? Why are you there? No, I can't be losing tanks right now. How did I put that rally there? Oh, God. I do have to say, guys, if you play TVTs like this and you're also explaining everything at the same time, the multitasking level feels freaking insane. Like, honestly. Like, this is, you know, my multitasking is pretty good, I would say, but playing a TVT like this with stuff happening all over the place and talking at the same time is pretty freaking crazy. Now, I think I'm going to go for 3-3 three, three here. Um... Because the upgrades are what's the best for me right now. Like, I'm a little bit ahead in upgrades, I'm sure of it. So if I get 3-3 three, three up as well... Oh, I did... Oh, it's just a marine, okay. If I get 3-3 three, three up as well, that would be pretty massive. Now, there's three tanks here. He doesn't have the upgrades, though. That's what's really nice here. I'm just gonna siege. I, I have an extra upgrade. He's going in, but he's gonna lose this fight, I think. 2-2 two, two is massive in TVT, guys. Like, this fight looked really good for him, I agree. But I had the upgrade advantage, which is just huge. Now, if he doesn't scan, I might be able to kill that tank. Let's see. Yeah, he's not going to scan yet, so I might be able to get that tail. Oh, that's very nice, actually. I'm going to kill it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, he does have one Liberator. Need to be very careful for that. His economy is pretty crazy, I do have to say. Um, so I can't quite... Yeah, I have to just run away here. He can't chase me unless his upgrades were about to finish. If his upgrades finished, that would be tough for me. But if they didn't, I have a chance. I do need to get back up in the air control count, though. You can't really win these TVTs without air control. There we go. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go back with everything. Uh, I don't want to fight too disjointed or anything like that. Let's see. Uh, three three is on the way. Uh, do I? Yeah, I have one Viking exactly. It's kind of funny. You can. You can do the job, right? I believe in you, Viking. Get him. Where, where's the Viking? Okay, there we go. Where did the, the Liberator go? Okay, there it is. Yeah, I'll just kill it. I'll lose a few SUVs, but that's fine, I think. I think I need to make sure I keep the map control. I don't want to get pushed by a siege tank or anything like that. That would be very annoying. Uh, he might be pushing out right now. Let's see. Is he here? No. He scanned me, but he barely missed me. I can actually make use of that with a mind game. No, he's actually just chilling. Never mind. Yeah, his, ar his armor looks freaking massive, actually. I need to go for extra gases. Let's see. Um, oh, you sure you want to fight that, though? Oh, he's going to lose a lot of units here, I think. Oh, actually, I thought that was... Okay, that was weird. I thought my tanks were going to get a nice volley on... Uh, on the, What's it called? Oh, with the siege. There we go. His army is actually lower than mine, so this fight is pretty decent here. Let's see if I can kill some Vikings. There we go. Going to move back as well. Yeah, the air control is really what's hurting me here. You know, it's so hard to fight when you don't have the air control. If not just straight up impossible as well. Let's see. He's going to siege there, but I can just walk past. And that's also exactly what I'm going to do. There we go. Please don't block each other, tanks. <laughs> a little bit unfortunate. Now, my army here is not the biggest army ever, I have to admit. So, I can't keep going forever. Now, I'm actually going to come back. So, let's see what he has. Okay, there we go. I have enough Vikings for this. Wait, I tried to siege that tank. Why didn't it siege? One of my tanks left unseaged. That is... A oh, wait. Actually, I'm going to catch him. Let's freaking go. This is massive. He might try to come back for this, but I'm going to kill all of his tanks instantly. Let's see if I can siege this tank over here. And maybe we can get a really nice trade here on the Marines. Oh, my tanks can barely not shoot that from the low ground. That's unfortunate. Let's kill those. And now we are put in an all-in position, which could actually be winnable. 
uh, because we have a lot more tanks than him. That's the only way why I think this could be a winnable game. Is because, no, stay together. Don't be silly. And I, pathing really is my biggest enemy in StarCraft. Like, actually, I can't believe my units are always splitting and being silly geese and stuff. It's, it's crazy. Now, I need to scan. I do have a scan. Let's see over here. I do have 3-3, three, three, by the way. That's actually pretty nice, but... It's not going to matter to kill that one tank. I'm not going to get it. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, I think that's going to be it, guys. I tried my best, um, but it's just not going to happen. If I had a few more medivacs here, I would actually go for a doom drop, and it might have a chance of working. But uh, since I only have three, there's actually no chance here. Now, I'm going to go back here, and then I'll go back around instantly and hope he's just too slow on the response. That's the plan here. It really sucks that I'm missing a scan. I'm just going to have to YOLO this, to be honest. If I don't YOLO this, I think there's no chance it works. So I'm just going to go for it right here. Here we go. Oh, my tanks are in a fantastic position. Look at the tanks. He has so many Marines. So let's start with the big clumps. My tanks are doing an amazing job. I have 3T against 2 2, but it's not going to matter. And GG well played. There we go. And I don't remember what the big mistake was, where it went wrong, honestly, because this game was so chaotic. And I've been talking for, feels like two hours or something straight. Uh, keep in mind, I'm recording all these parts one by one, or one after another, right, on the same day, because it's a tournament. This game was pretty insane uh, i definitely think we were behind at the start but we could have climbed back didn't happen but now it's time for game number three let's do it all right game number three against spirit on royal blood i have to admit i don't have the perfect strategy for the occasion yet uh, i think what i'm gonna do is i kind of want to do that hellion marauder strategy but i don't want to do it if he's playing reaper expand because he has the bunker so judging on the last game we might be able to just go through i could also go for the chinese build Game <laughs> I actually, I actually felt the same thing when I saw Royal Blood. I thought I played it as well, but then I looked at the Vitas and it was game number three. So I guess we should just play it. Did, did we play this map? I actually don't remember at all. I th yeah, this this looks like it was game one, but I don't know. <laughs> all right. Well, a little bit of a little bit of a breather for me, I guess. I mean, not like I stopped talking, but anyway, I would love to go for. Uh, yeah, I, I'm really doubting. I mean, Chinese build or Marauder? Chinese build or Marauder? I'm gonna go for Chinese build here. The gas first, and I'm mostly doing this because he's just so low on scouting. You know, he plays pretty safe, but he really scouts very little. So I'm gonna go for a very heavy one base attack, which is usually. Realistically, not the best strategy against Terran, but against someone that scouts this little, we can go for it. I'm also going to do a little bit of a fake proxy here, so he might be scared for a bit and then find it, and then be like, oh, okay, nothing's crazy going on, if he scouts. Once again, I don't think he's likely to scout, um, and that's why I built it very close, so I wouldn't delay it for anything. It's just, it's the same as normal, but if he scouts, maybe there's a bit of confusion. If he doesn't scout, it doesn't make a difference. That's the plan. Uh, I'm not going to scout myself because I won't have money. This is another one of those greedy cheeses where uh, I can't afford to waste any money myself. I can't go out and scout. I can't go out and check for proxies or something like that because it would just take too much money. Um, what's the timing on the SCV? Can I send the SCV back up? I'm actually not sure about this. I think if you SCV scout, it arrives around the same time the barracks finishes. So if I send my SCV back up here, he might just see it when he does normal SCV scout. I don't think it matters that much, though. Actually, I, I'm just, I'm just going to commit to it. I'm also going to build my factory over here. There we go. Almost looks like I'm in my proxy everything. Uh, you know, doing my proxy everything build. I'm going to make a depot up here. The one thing I cannot allow to happen is that he scouts my main, I think. With a Reaper, I mean, of course. Not with the SUV. Like, if he comes with a Reaper and he scouts my main, uh, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble, I think. So I need to position my units appropriately so that he doesn't see what's going on. And then at the same time, where can I... I'm not sure where I can fit a starport, actually. With this kind of build, you go for a starport on one base, which is very unusual in TVT. I think I'm going to make it here, because at some point, you always want to put the starport on the reactor. But the trick here is, you also want to put the tech lab. Uh, use the tech lab for one of your barracks. So I can't make it that far. So I'm going to make it here. So it has the perfect amount of space for a tech lab, but it's still pretty close to that barracks on the low ground here. I'm going to make another depot over here. Um, and then I guess we'll see. Now, this starport, it's pretty far away from the jump. So there's a good chance he's not going to scout it. I still need to try my absolute best to prevent it, though. I also can't have him scout my natural. This is a very tricky part. I can't have him scout my natural because he would see that it's not there, right? Which is a really big tell. I also can't have him scout my main and see the starport that early. So where do I position my units? It's very tough. I think most likely he went for a Reaper expand again, to be honest, because he just... 
You know, after game one, if he does it again, it just seems to be his vibe, right? Maybe I should have gone for another proxy gate against this guy, or another proxy rack, right? So I'm going to send my... Hellion is going to go here, and then my next two Reapers are going to go there. I think that way I can actually get the perfect amount of scouting denial. Um, and I am stopping SCP production now because I'm already saturated, and then I can make my natural. I'm going to get my... Depot's going to... Yeah, Depot's going to finish in time. I thought I was going to be a little bit late for a second. But hopefully he doesn't see this coming. I think there's a really big chance he just has a bunker. And if he does, I will just run straight past it. That's the plan, okay? And this kind of build, you do rely a little bit on, on luck, of course. Like, it depends on how your opponent's going to counter everything. Now, maybe I should be looking for a Reaper or something. I feel like a Reaper could jump up in any moment. Now, let's try to move ahead with these units. Let's see, there's no Reaper here yet. Should I make more units in the follow-up? I think I'm going to skip doing that. Uh, now, let's move forward with my units. So, the Liberator gets uh, unspotted, I guess. is the best way to put it. And then I make another depot. And notice how I have all these add-ons going now. That's the point. And then, hopefully... This map is a little bigger than I had hoped for, but hopefully we can sync up just nicely. Here we go. Looks like there's a Widow Mine there, actually. Oh, no. Okay, we dodged the grenades. That's very nice. And now we're going to attack. Liberator's going to siege his uh, base now. And I'm just going to try to distract him a little bit here. Do, oh, really good micro there, actually. Liberator's in the main. And now he has to make a decision. Is he going to chase me? Oh, he actually chased me with the wrong amount of units. He sent the Cyclone back. But now I'm going to be able to kill these units over here. A micro and back the low HP units is a pretty big micro dance. But we are going to get away with a lot of it. Don't think it was effective enough, though. Like, I would say we're definitely a bit behind. I think maybe five SEVs difference or so. But yeah, definitely a little bit of a rough position. I needed more damage and I didn't get it. I don't think my Liberator got any SEVs. Uh, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I think with this kind of build, it might actually be better to proxy the Starport. But then you are very all-in all of a sudden. And this build, I kind of like it as a bridge between being all-in or not, if that makes sense. Um, I'm actually going to make another Cyclone. This is mostly as a reaction to what he has been doing so far, which is making two Cyclones. So I think since I have three Hellions alive, maybe I can go for two Cyclones and three Hellions and then catch both of his Cyclones out on the map. That's the absolute dream here. No, my SCV count is very low, guys. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I should be following this up with a two-base all-in, actually. Uh, try to win the game like that, because I think playing a macro game from here is going to be pretty tough. I do have to say, I once tried a two-base all-in against him before. Uh, that was actually in an ESL Cup as well. And or Well, that wasn't an ESL Cup. It's actually not an ESL Cup, but that one didn't go so well. So that's a little bit scary. Now, I know he likes to scan my main. Okay, there's something here. I'm just going to drop a third, actually, to defend it. Uh, myself there you go maybe kill it a little bit faster and now oh, i need to make sure to deny this raven i lost three scvs but that's completely fine i think and then i'm gonna switch oh no okay for a second i thought he was gonna scout the second starport that would have been very unfortunate and now it's even more confirmed that i have to go for an all-in here uh because otherwise i just I, I cannot possibly catch up anymore right so that's the plan i'm not even sure if i should be making scvs to be honest maybe i should just be saturating my gases and saying this is it i'm not gonna have any more um oh wait is he scouting me that looks like a crazy scout if he goes for that, actually. Okay. He doesn't quite get the scouted, which is nice. He sees I don't have a third command center, though. I feel like it would have been envision if I had it. Now, he's making an engineering bay. Uh, oh, it's, oh, it's two e-bays. Okay. For a second, I was like, wait, why is he making one engineering bay? That's kind of weird. It's kind of like he's playing mech, but he's really not the kind of mech guy to go for that. Uh, but yeah, we're in a tough spot, and I'm going to try to make it all happen with my one big... Um, yeah, two base all in. There's no other way to put it. I mean, he did put down... Is it three turrets or one? I think he put down two turrets, right? Uh, I said three or one, but I meant three or two, obviously. I think he put down two turrets, so... Technically, I should be one turret ahead. I know it doesn't sound like a big difference, but Raven Energy is actually a very important resource in TVT. Now, let's see what I can do here. There. He's going to move out to take his base at some point. There we go. Maybe I can get a nice lock on. Can we kill a tank? That'd be massive. I'm not going to kill it, but damage is damage, guys. That's a good start. Pretty happy with that. Oh, we actually got a... Maybe I can kill it, though. No, I locked onto the wrong thing. Oh, that sucks. I locked onto his Cyclone with the Cyclone that was dying. That was a little bit unfortunate. So he sees there's nothing, and now he knows what's going on. Uh, he sees the double starport, and now he's going to go full defense mode. And guys, honestly, if I make this one work, it's going to be an even bigger miracle than I performed before, and mostly because my opponent is so freaking good. That... Oh, wait, I have four... Oh, yeah, I have four Ravens. Okay, well, maybe that can actually work. Okay, we're going to kill the Cyclone, which is really nice. There we go. Is he still here? No, he's out 
on the map trying to siege. That's exactly what he needs to do. He needs to delay my attack, and that's why I'm going to fake him and go around here. I think this is the best play I could have made. This might actually work into my favor quite well that he scouted me, because now we're going to get into his base unseen, and this is very, very big, guys. I'm going to be able to siege... Watch this, guys. I'm going to be able to siege his main base from here. This is absolutely freaking massive. Now, he is slowly going to get more units than me. That's a very scary part. Let's see. And I'm going to get control of this. Wow, guys, this is actually uh, the miracle that we needed. This would be freaking massive. He has five freaking bearings, by the way. I have one bear. I don't even have production, really. But his uh, production is absolutely insane. Let's see. Can I do anything here to make this go any better for me? I'm not sure. I think I can make a liberator. I'm actually going to go for the liberator here. He hasn't been trying to catch my units, which is nice for me. Uh, can I actually not... Oh, I can. Okay, I was thinking, can I not hit that starport? That's kind of crazy. Uh, if I was him, I would probably go for a counter attack uh, with, like, some random marines that he has laying around. So, let's see. We're going to kill the starport. I also need to be afraid of Stim. So, I'm actually going to drop a turret here. Yeah, if I was him, I would go soon and just, like, disable all my, uh, my tanks and just kind of go for it. Maybe he's going to do it pretty soon. Let's see. I'm trying to find his ravens. I feel like they must be around here somewhere. Let's see, still haven't seen them. He had a few SEVs pulled. Wait, did he lose that barracks before Stim? No, it must have been combat shields, I think. There's no way he would have lost it before Stim, I think. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to go for it right now. You can you can feel the attack coming. Now, I don't know where the ravens are, but they're somewhere. Let's see. Okay, there, so the ravens came from there. I have a lot of freaking auto turrets, though. I'm going to land all of these vikings. I'm dropping all the turrets I can. Please land. I need you to land right now. They're landing so slow. I'm going to be able to delay for a little bit. My tanks are getting off fire, but he has so many vikings, and he has defended me. Very well done by him. That was very clean cleanup. The only way I could have possibly won that is if I found the vikings. That's why he saw me move out with my vikings, move out the marines to try and find them. But Spirit has done it, honestly. A very, very competitive series against the top 16 player in the world. We're trying to explain everything I'm doing and never stopping. And yes, you can see it in me. I'm very exhausted. Hopefully, I get a bit break for the next round because there is a loser's bracket. Keep in mind, our tournament one is not over. But for now, that will be it for part number three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you for the next one. Adios.